Over the last week, there has been so much hype and buzz around Framer's new AI website building tool. Now, today I wanna to dive into this app and see, is the juice really worth the squeeze? So if you don't know about this website, Framer.com is Webflow's little brother, as I would see it. Now, I do know there's a big debate on whether or not Framer is going to overtake Webflow. That aside, let's just focus on start with AI, which is Framer's new AI website building experience. So once you've created an account, you'll land on your dashboard and you can see this magical AI button over here. Select that and this will take you into Framer's workspace and this is where you can start to create websites. Now, as you can see, they've made it pretty prominent and they're really trying to encourage people to explore this new feature or this new experience. And all you have to do is select, click on that button and a new prompt window would pop up. And what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna go ahead and actually put in a prompt. As you can see in their placeholder text, you can pretty much type in whatever you want and it's going to generate a web design for you. So I've gone ahead and experimented with something like this a design portfolio for a UX designer called Mizco in Sydney, Australia. Keep the overall brand dark and minimal. Include sections for case studies, social proof, newsletter, and footer. So let's go ahead and hit start and see what this will create. As you can see within seconds, it's going to go ahead and create multiple breakpoints. So you have desktop, tablet, and phone on the right-hand side. And as you can see, it's actually going ahead and creating these designs on the fly. Now I've done this a fair few times and I've noticed that it is recreating and reusing the same or very similar templates as a baseline. So you can see that it's already going ahead and create the case study section, the hero section, and I think we've got some testimonials. No, we thought we'd, I think that's a testimonial. Then we've got a CTA and then we have a footer down here. So that's really what this whole hype is about. I've also experimented with, let's just go ahead and take this and I'm gonna copy over on the top right corner. So if I go ahead and just close this, you can see if I select the desktop in the top right corner here, you can regenerate and create something different. Now I was trying to experiment and see if I utilize more structured prompts, will it be able to provide me something a little bit more tailored? So I used Purpose is for UX design portfolio. It's about a product and UX designer from Sydney, Australia. The brand is dark and minimal. Someone just messaged. But the sections, I wanna include case studies, social proof, newsletter, and footer. So let's go ahead and regenerate this and utilize a different uh, prompt approach. All right, so that's all done. As you can see with this new prompt, it's gone ahead and created a new UX portfolio for my very own domain, Mizco. And as you can see, we've got the about section, we've got case studies, we have some testimonials over here, some social proof, and we've got a newsletter CTA and a footer. Now, if we dive a little bit deeper, I think this design is very, very simple. But if you actually go ahead and click on each component or each section of this design. On the right hand side, you can see that there are some stars once again, indicating that there is some AI functionality. If you click on that, you can see that it would automatically go ahead and just continuously to regenerate different versions of this. If you click on the overall, the entire desktop and you select that, you can see on the right hand side, you can actually go ahead and shuffle. Every day I'm shuffling. So you can shuffle different fonts, topography, right? So for all the headings, it's changing this up. Not the best choice of fonts, to be honest, but hey, this is a day one sort of uh, iteration on this feature. Then we can also go ahead and shuffle different color palettes, as you can see. So we can play around with that. Now, if you go ahead and select the text, you can also select the star icon and it's going to rewrite the text inside that box. For example, if you were creating a very simple website and you needed to rewrite it in a more friendly way, you can also go ahead and regenerate that. So I would say this is actually pretty simple right now. Would I use this for my own portfolio? I would say definitely not. But I think this is where Framer is trying to 
position itself in a way that they are utilizing AI for the very first time in this whole uh, website creation space. Now, in terms of limitations with this, I think this is day one. This is the very first version of AI that Framer has pushed out. And I think there are actually a lot of limitations. I think from what I can see right now, this probably, I wouldn't even say it's a starting point for a new website. I would say this is more of a gimmicky, fun Easter egg type of feature where they're trying to build brand awareness for framer.com. But honestly, I wouldn't be comfortable in using any of this for a real world project. However, where I can see the potential in this is that Framer has a now quite a large database of a premium templates that their community has created. Training the model with all these templates, I don't see it being too hard for them. They already have all the components, all the sections designed, all these elements predefined. Really what they just need to do is start training this model, their own Framer AI model, and teach them all the different variations of how a hero section should look, how a content section should look, how case studies should look. Because what I see right now is the same template being repurposed for different prompts. And I've tried this many, many times and I'm getting the same sort of results. So I think from here on forward, what we are going to start to see is more premium designs being generated in the outcomes or the outputs from the AI prompts. So that's it. If you want to check it out, go to framer.com, create an account and you can play around with start with AI and see what sort of websites you can create. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in another video very soon. All right.